In today's video, we are going to talk about 10 must have networking tools to have in your networking toolkit. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. Well, there are two types of tools that you will be using in your networking journey hardware and software. I'll stick with the softwares. Number one, ping. Well, ping is a basic networking command or you can say basic networking utility that comes with your operating system. Either you are using Linux distributions or Windows, you can use it to check whether an IP address can be reached or not. For that, you just need to open your terminal or your command prompt and you just need to write ping and you can also use it through a web interface as well. Number two, network scanner. Well, network scanner is a monitoring tool that enables and allows you to identify a range of active hosts that are there in your network. And it also makes sure the network device connectivity and topology are there and working. This network tool allows you to pull the network details, such as it helps you about the information about ping status, SNMP status, operating system types, and the network interface card, which is also called as NIC, and the devices that are specifying their IP addresses. Number three, rogue detection. Well, this utility or this tool facilitates you with the continuous network scanning to pinpoint an unauthorized rogue devices that are trying or that have already entered your network. And this tool lists all the newly identified devices and you can categorize the devices as the authorized, as trusted, or guest, or unauthorized as well. And this will help you to secure your private network. Unauthorized or suspicious devices are marked as rogue with the help of this utility. And the devices that are considered rogue with the help of this utility are denied access to your network resources. And that is how you can secure your network from the malicious agents. Number four, trace route. If you are using Linux distribution or if you have any know-how about networking, you must have heard about this tool. Well, this is a diagnostic tool that gives you the visibility into the path taken by a particular packet in a network. Well, as we know that whenever we send the data, it gets sent in the form of packet. So you can find out the path of a particular packet in a network with the help of trace route. This network tool displays the number of hops an IP packet has taken to reach a particular device or its destination. And subsequently, it displays the IP addresses of each hop. And this is how you can find out the path that have been taken by your packet to reach a destination. Number five, Notepad++. Well, if I say that Notepad++ is one of the best text editor, then it wouldn't be wrong. Well, it's a perfect for coding to work with. I'm sure if you are into networking, you will be needing to code at some point and Notepad++ is there for you. Well, it features a minimum dependent interface as it has a really simple interface and you can have custom code syntax, highlighting, collapsing the blocks of code and you can search support for regular expression in this particular text editor. Well, one of the best thing that I like the most about this text editor is that when you open a big file, the response time is outstanding. Therefore, it is really useful when system admins need to investigate large log files. Now I'll talk about some of the features of this Notepad++. Well, you can find and replace the strings of text with regular expressions. You can auto save, you can have multi editing, you can have split screen editing, and you have many more features. Number six, Wireshock and Microsoft Message Analyzer. Well, it is well-known traffic management platform for networks. If you know about the basic of the networking, you must have used this tool. Well, it operates with the vast majority of known protocols and it is a cross-platform that run on Linux, your NetBSD, your Solaris, your Windows, Mac operating system, and many other operating system. Well, the smallest specifics of network traffic and network protocols are revealed by Wireshark. It helps you to find out the IP addresses, the traffic, and many more things. 
On the other hand, Microsoft Message Analyzer can be used in several situations as well. For example, it helps you to capture network traffic for a security review. You can troubleshoot applications and their issues, and you can troubleshoot networks and firewalls and their configurations. Number seven, Nmap. Well, if you want to maintain security and it's very critical on your network and it doesn't happen by accident, you have to use Nmap because networks need to be scanned and monitored persistently for unauthorized devices and open ports. Nmap enables engineers to stay ahead of intrusion and any vulnerability that can be there and that a potential hacker can compromise. And Nmap provides utilities to determine that what hosts are available on the network and which one of them are busy and what ports are available on those hosts. At the end, you can also find out that what operating system and firewalls are in use and much more. This tool has the capacity or you can say this tool has the ability to scan the whole subnet and TCP port range that allows you and engineers to spot the problem devices and open sockets. Number 8. Cisco Packet Tracer Well, when you are in the design stage of your network, you need a network simulation because it saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of money before actually implementing the solution out there. So this tool is a must have for you. Cisco have designed the Packet Tracer tool to help you to simulate and test your network environments before they are rolled out to the enterprises and are deployed in the actual scenarios. This tool is very helpful when preparing for industry certification exams. And as large environments can be built and tested without the need for expensive hardware, this tool is a must one for you. Number nine, Putty. Even after two full decades of use, many engineers like Putty and they use it like their right hand because this small tool enables them to access and configure network devices. Although this is the time of automation and everything is going towards the automation and many new fancy automation tools are entering the market, but still the engineers like to use Putty as it is very simple and as it allows you to do troubleshooting very easily. Number 10, NetState. Well, this is another useful command line network utility and NetStat stands for Network Statistics. This tool allows you to display the network connection for your transmission control protocol and your user datagram protocol. Basically, it is TCP and UDP. And it lets you to check whether the connection exists. And it also offers and provides the statistics to show how the connection is performing. And the netstat command will show a list of TCP connection in your network and the IP addresses of your computer and the IP addresses of the devices that are connected and their port numbers and their TCP state. So these were some of the tools that you must consider while you are going into your networking field. This was all about the software aspect. If you want to know about the hardware aspect, please leave a comment below. We'll have a separate video for that as well. And I hope now that you must have liked this video. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.